What up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Energy Report. I'm your host, Pablo, and joining me, as always, is Mr. Brian Schultz. Brian, the cast has been announced, Brian, and we have heard a snippet. I don't know if you heard it, Brian, but I did. Yep. And uh, I am not going to make too much commentary, Brian. I have a perspective and an approach that I want to take with this show that I hope that others do as well. Uh, but the cast has been announced, Brian. Your thoughts on what's been revealed so far? So Amazon put up kind of like a, almost like a sizzle reel, but for a cast uh, for Cape Crusader. It is narrated by Hamish Linklater, who is voicing Bruce Wayne, Batman taking over for the late, great Kevin Conroy. And they announce, he, he, without saying who is who in the video, he announces all the names of the major cast members who are going to be part of, of the animated show. Now, separately, it has been confirmed who a few of these other supporting voices are, are playing. And that's also interesting. But we don't have a full match of names to characters yet. Mm -hmm. But some notables. So you have Hamish Linklater as Bruce Wayne and, and Batman. Christina Ricci, who everyone would probably know from the Adams Family back in the day, mm -hmm. is Catwoman, Selena Kyle. Okay. Uh, Jamie Chung, who was a reality show oh, uh, yeah, star yeah, yeah, from the real world like before she became She was yeah. in, um, what's that movie? Uh, Lovecraft Country. Lovecraft Country on HBO as well. Um, she is Harley Quinn, which we know is a more sinister, okay. sadistic Harley Quinn. Okay. So Harley Quinn. And then Diedrich Bader, who's a comedian you probably would know from uh, a number office space, a number of number of different programs. He is Harvey Dent and Two Face. Now there's a long list dudes. of others. Notable names that we don't have characters for. Mini Driver. Okay. McKenna Grace, Haley Joel Osmond, and Toby Stevens, who I think most people would know as Captain Flint from the Black Sales TV show. Um those are some of the names. There's others as well. Notably absent, obviously, is the Joker, right? So we don't see Mark Hamill. So it doesn't sound like he's in this. If he is, they're not crediting him yet. Mm -hmm. There's no mention of the Joker at all, in fact, which is interesting. We can discuss that. Mm -hmm. But we have Batman nominating the whole or narrating the whole video. And my take, Pablo, at least, with just listening to it was he's kind of channeling a younger version of Kevin Conroy. That's a, it's not quite there, mm -hmm. but it is in the DNA musically yeah. okay. to what Kevin Conroy would ultimately sound like as the fully grown up um, Bruce Wayne. I don't know. That was my take. What was your thought? What was your thought when you heard it? I, Brian, have... I, I've... My perspective and my approach to this is, Brian, is as if I had never have heard or seen the Batman the Animated Series before. And look what that turned out to be. So it's just pretty much giving it a chance to be what it is without fully mm -hmm. giving my perspective on a performance or possible performances that I don't know nothing of just yet. So I want to wait and see. I got I to gotta look at this as if, as if the first time I saw it, because when I first time I saw it, I've been hooked ever since. So... I'm just looking to sort of experience it that way and sort of give it a shot before I, because it's going to be released all of it, which is uh, let the angels start singing. So Ten I'm going to watch the whole thing. So we're going to be able to give you our perspective on something. How many episodes is 10, right? 10, August 1st. Yes. So unlike, <laughs> unlike the animated series, which obviously was you got one, a you kind of came home from school and you got your episode. But they had like all of them. They would have had like 50. <laughs> yeah, the seasons were incredibly long back then. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. but yeah, this is all 10 at once. All right. Yeah. Yeah. So that's my approach, Brian. That's what that was my thought when I listened to it. Because, and by saying that, you would say, okay, I probably didn't like it as much. But I, again, who's to say I really like Kevin Conroy's first approach because it changed, it evolved over yes. time, Brian. Yeah, if you listen to him in episode one of season one, and then you listen to him, you know, granted, time passes, right? For example, you listen to him by the end of this show, you listen to him in Justice League, like when he's still playing the part 10 years later, like he is different. 
I mean, yes. it's, it's a slight, it's a different iteration of, of Bruce. So I, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I can't yeah. really comment too much on that just yet until I see that that series going back through history. They Batman the animated series wound up winning four Emmys, including an Emmy for most outstanding program. So that is the legacy. It was nominated for okay. uh, many more, but in 1993, it won the Emmy for outstanding animated program. Um, so that's what they're up against. That's the bar um, that this shows that this show is going after. Um, yeah. But I, I did you? What do you think of the voice? Like, did it bother you that it was not Kevin? I mean, we heard that's the thing is we've heard Batman in other DC animated movies be played by other actors, right? And like, depending yeah. on his age, right? Like Peter Weller, who was RoboCop, did it in Dark Knight Returns. Uh, we talked about Jeremy. Off Sist- when he was we talked about Jeremy Sisto did it right <laughs> yeah, as yeah. Older. So we yes. we've heard this. It's not like Kevin Conroy is at a monopoly on Batman. It's just he's the most iconic that everyone remembers. So I didn't have a problem at all with with the Link Letter version of the voice that I heard. No, um, my only concern is that I don't want it to sound like Kevin Conroy, right? Um, so it, again, like you said, it was there's a slight hint of a younger version possibly. Being it's a little softer. Of- like yes. he's not channeling as much of like the Batman voice in particular, Kevin Conroy used was like a sinister voice, but almost had a real edge to it. This, yeah. this voice at least was a little, but then his Bruce voice was very affable. I mean, like Kevin Conroy would flip that switch and Bruce <laughs> in public would be like a really friendly guy. Seemingly in, in that show. <laughs> this version seemed a little more sort of just, yeah, just kind of almost softer, a little more melancholy, but you could sort of see like, all right, it's in the same, you know, zip code, call it. So yeah. I liked it. I thought it was good. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's my that's that's my take on on the Cape Crusader voice cast updates. Um, I just no Joker. What do you think? No, what do you think about like we're keeping the if he's in this show, we're not naming him, and he's not really kind of the lead the lead villain to this. But Harley Quinn is right. So Harley Quinn is in the lead list of the cast, but Joker is not. Being that Harley Quinn is influenced by the Joker, who knows if they make reference to him, Brian? Until they find someone that can take that role again, because obviously Mark Hamill talk about there hasn't been a monopoly on Kevin Con- Con- on the Batman voice. Mark Hamill's Joker is one that if if it, if it isn't played by Mark Hamill, they're copying Mark Hamill. Yeah, true. You know what I'm saying? Some are more drastic changes, which are not that much. I guess enjoy, but everything has been a derivative of what Mark Hamill has done. Well, that's why I also, you know, like when I see name actors where they don't attach the character, right? Like what is Haley Joel Osment doing in this series? Like he's not there to cameo, right? That, that He's a famous enough person that I'm assuming he'd play, he's voicing a character we're going to know and recognize instantly. Um, like even Toby Stevens, I think is a big enough actor has played enough parts to where I would say if he's in your show, you're using him for a mainline character of sorts. There's room, though, for a different type of Joker. We know that because we've seen it in live action and we've seen it voiced very differently and very successfully. So, you know, right. I mean, Mark Hamill, as much as that is an iconic voice performance and he that performance was nominated for an Emmy as well back in the day. Mm -hmm. um, There's no reason they can't have something different, um, you know, in in this show. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think for me, it's always been more about not necessarily the voice for the Joker, Although it does play a big part, but it more so the relationship and the dialogue written for when the bat when Batman and him are talking to each other. That's been the more exciting part of it. Yeah, I would agree. Uh, also, no, I don't believe they formally said who's playing Gordon, which I think is also a fascinating subplot. To I this see show. Gary Anthony Williams. Oh, Gary Anthony Williams. You're right. I apologize. He was okay. actually pre he was previously named, I believe, as playing Commissioner Gordon. Or Gordon. I don't know. Is he Commissioner Gordon in this show? It doesn't say, but I would yeah. assume so. <laughs> yeah, I would assume. Yeah. So, because uh, there isn't anybody else here that would possibly uh, do that. Uh, okay. There's a Crystal Joy Brown. Yep. There's like Michelle Bonilla. There's there's a lot of other names they've listed. I haven't seen all of them attached to different characters yet. Mm. That'd be so, interesting to see. Like, who's Minnie Driver voicing, right? That's a pretty big name actress. Like, what is she doing in the show? Um, so, but we'll see. Yeah, so, yeah. Ten episodes though. That's going to be like I said. That we're going to have to do some shows immediately to kind of break in the series apart. 
I don't, think we're, I don't think we're getting any acolyte type letdowns in this in that in this one. But I'm not. <laughs> guys, see now you just ruined the the, the mood. <laughs> it's like nobody was thinking about that. <laughs> <laughs> I think the better question is: Is this show as complete as X Men '97 was? <sighs> Like that's a show where there just wasn't to me, like there just were not many lulls or drop offs episodes one through 10 there. And I'm I, fascinated to see if this show can sustain that kind of high. I think Brian, it'll be a different sort of high because again, based on the description of Bruce Wayne, this is a guy who believes who, who he is, that he is the Batman. Right. And, and that's yes. not normal. So for me, that would be interesting to see the conversations he has as Batman and his approach towards things and the conversations that we, he has with Alfred are always fascinating and with Gordon Bryan. All those things I am looking forward to. Uh, certainly the action sequences and how Batman fights Bryan, that's important as well. Mm -hmm. Again, if you think, look at the people involved in this, Bryan, it's hard to fathom disappointment. No, I agree. So Bruce Timms had a long time to think about making this show. The show he won. And I am certain we're not going to get an announcement of the director's cut. <laughs> See, that's just I, as bad as my accolade <laughs> reference. <laughs> you, you, I you I, Zach I, I, I figured I'd here. Oprah you and do and give you something worse. <laughs> but let us know in the conversation below what you guys think of the voice cast for the Cape Crusader. And if you did get a chance to listen to the Batman voice, what were your thoughts and how are you, how are you approaching this? Because... I don't want to get in this low place without really giving it a chance. And plus they're releasing the whole thing at the same time. No, this is not no echo situation. I think this is more of a daredevil season one. That was a binge. Yeah. 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 And it took us places we hadn't been before. I think is here here you go for all of you who have been waiting for this we're not going to make you wait week to week we're going to give you this all in one shot because it's only 10 episodes it's not like it's 50 of them so before we leave this what if x-men 97 had been all 10 at once how, do you think it would have changed how you would have processed things like episode no. five episode no. nine like without having a, a week to sort of digest that if you had to just go right on into the next episode the time lapse between all those episodes don't seem as, when you look back, don't seem as far apart. You know what I'm saying? Because you were impressed and were looking forward week to week when these shows came out. And I would assume that I would have the same feeling for each of those episodes if I saw them all at once. Hmm. Interesting. You know what I'm saying? So. I would have been obviously more excited. I would have been still impressed, still praising and still talking the same stuff that I've been talking about this show. I still would have probably not liked episode four. So it, nothing, nothing would have changed. Okay. But yeah, let us know in the comment section below what you guys think of all this. And uh, we're getting a lot of Batman. We're getting a lot of Batman. And again, I'm going to keep saying it again. <clears throat> Superman, if Superman does, Brian, what do you think it could do, Brian? What James Gunn is attempting to do, Brian? It's only going to get even the pressure, Brian. Not necessarily from the fans. You know who I'm talking about. He's going to be putting pressure on James Gunn. Get this stuff out you see what we just did with this film get it out Zaslav is going to be on his back calling him every week yo what's going on with the progress of this he's going to be interested then when those numbers start coming in Brian because that's what he's been waiting for because thus far he's doing it with other properties and stuff like that that's business as usual 
But with this, this is different. This is different. This is billions and billions of dollars different. We'll see you next time on the Nerd Gym Report. The show goes on!